Good morning. How many of you know that God is as much concerned about our finances as we are concerned about our finances? And so um, what God was talking to me about this morning is that he's going to give us some investments to invest in. He's going to speak to us about investing in areas that we normally would not invest in right and and with some believers you're gonna say no that's not from god that's from the devil why because we we believe that we can't invest in certain things because we are christians and um god is saying that the children of the world are wiser than the children of god why because they know to invest into the kingdom of god because they do they invest in the kingdom of God and they re re reap the benefits from investing in the kingdom of God. As God wants us to transfer some of that wealth into back into the kingdom of God through certain investments, right? And so God says that he's going to be speaking to us about certain invest certain areas that he wants us to invest in and he doesn't want us to be like Peter right where he had to drop down this this um um this um this layer of all kind of meats and stuff like that to show peter that whatever i say is okay is okay right and so god is saying that there's some areas that you're not gonna think it's okay to invest in because it's not something that uh, as a believer you would say, oh no, I don't want to invest in Johnson and Johnson because I hear this about them or I don't want to uh, um, invest in micro Microsoft because you know I think he he believes in abortion so I don't want to invest in him. But in, in actuality, what God was showing me is that there's no way unless you grow your own food, make your own medicines, right? Build your own homes and, you know, uh, um, buy, buy your own property and, 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 and build the home yourself that you know exactly what's in the heart of those that are doing those things for you, right? You, you don't know the heart of man. And, and the word of God says the heart of man is wicked anyways, right? But God is going to show us some ways of transferring over wealth into the kingdom of God. We've been we've been crying about oh you know the of the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just and 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 um oh yeah there's going to be a wealth transfer and we don't know how that wealth transfer is going to come but we believe it. But when it comes because of our mindset right because of of our our our, our thinking we miss it. We miss it because we don't think that God is going to bring it the way he's bringing it. We want God to bring it the wealth the way we want it. We want it to fall from the sky and, and we have our bag open and the money just drop in the bag. But it does not work that way, okay? It does not work great. Right. Only God can take $2 and turn it into 10. Only he can take $100 and turn it into $100,000, right? And so he's going to show you these areas, these specific areas of investment right that you are you you need to do it when when you hear when you hear it or when god shows you through a sign through you maybe watching something in, on tv and 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 it just it just sticks with you and you can't get away from it and it's not the devil it's not the devil right god is is trying to get us to a place where we're where we're where we're where we're wealthy where we're secure um, um, and the kingdom of God upon the earth can be secure. Because you, if you don't got no money to give into the kingdom of God, then the kingdom of God stays in poverty, right? And so we, have, we as believers have to have money. We need money. Money is good, right? The love of money is what's wrong, but money is a good thing. It's a resource. It's a way of us, right? It's a way of us being able to um, build the kingdom of God, for one, upon this earth, right? Um, provide for our families, provide for ourselves and, and take care of the things that, that God wants us to take care of that we need to take care of. And so I want to, I want to encourage you this morning to keep your ears open, 
right? Keep your ears open and, and incline to the voice of God so that, that when he speaks and he tells you, I want you to invest in this or this stock is good right now, that you do it. That you do it and you don't miss your blessing because this is the year when God wants to, to increase the believers. He wants, he wants us to increase in wealth, in stature, in purpose, in everything, right? And so, but, but in order for, for, for us to be able to do that, we have to think out of the box, come out of that box, right? Come out of the box. We have to think about, think out of the box and out of our natural, natural, natural way of thinking and think and, and allow God, we say we allow God to, um, to take full control. Oh God, take control only in the worship, only when you're sick. No, let God take control of your, of your money. Let him show you how to invest your money. Let him show you what to buy and what and when to sell also. All right. So so it's not only when when to buy, he's gonna tell you when to sell. For those who he's gonna in, he's gonna tell about certain stocks. He's gonna also tell you when to sell. And when he says sell, sell, because it'll mean that something else is it it, it was only a short-term investment, right? And so I just want to encourage you guys. Uh, this is the word from the Lord that he wants to, um, to give us certain things. He want to be in charge of our finances. He wants to help us to reach, um, those goals and, 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 and to be able to build homes for, 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 for people, for those of who are, those who are builders. He wants us to build homes. He wants us to have stores. He wants us to have, um, um, engineering companies. Listen, he wants believers to be in charge of every area, okay, of life, right? So that when 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 one of us needs something, we we can go to each other, right? And and and, and we can support one another in that. So I want to encourage you: keep your ears open, right, for the voice of God, and when He speaks. Go ahead and do it. God bless you. Have a great day. Um, have a great morning, a week. Um, enjoy yourself. And remember, listen for the voice of God. Love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.